Well, I have tried to film the opening to this video many times. A couple times in Vegas, <laughs> a couple times here. It's hard because it's such a touchy subject and even though I wasn't there, it still traumatized me and I still find myself needing answers and doing research on it. And I'm talking about the Las Vegas shooter. It happened in 2017. The guy that broke out the windows in his suite at the Mandalay Bay and shot a machine gun from his hotel room into a concert and killed multiple people. I mean, it's like the craziest thing you could do, right? So I think, oh, well, I could have been there when this happened. And then I just think, well, how does somebody come to the point where they would plan to do something like this? If I was at the concert, would I have known it was, you know, a gun? Or would I have just thought it was something wrong with the music? There's just so many questions and so many haunting factors for me that for some reason I keep thinking about and I don't know why I keep thinking about it. I can see myself in almost every side of it from being a person at the concert, to being a person that worked at the hotel, to being a family member of one of the people, being a family member of the shooter. Go watch the interview of Eric Paddock. That's Stephen Paddock's brother, the shooter's brother. And you can tell that, you know, the media was bothering him standing outside his house. And it's like, he just got so frustrated. He just came out and just gave him all the information he had. And some people thought he was crazy, but I just think it's just so honest. I needed to go and see the place. I needed to see the Mandalay Bay. I needed to try to get to the 32nd floor that the shooter was. I needed to stand in that hallway. I needed to stand in that concert area. I needed to feel the difference and you know, the, the distance from where the hotel is to the concert place. I needed to feel it. I needed to imagine myself there. And I, I've i never felt this way about anything that wasn't personal to me. I, I can't even put words to it myself. I don't have the answers. I'm still trying to figure it out. And I don't want to offend anyone and I don't want to make anyone feel bad because this is just something I did to help myself cope. And maybe my doing that can somehow help you. You know, this was the biggest mass shooting in US history right now. If I offend anyone, I apologize. This is just my way of dealing with it. So let's get started. So since I'm in Las Vegas, there's all kinds of different things I want to do, but one of the strange things that I want to do, and one of the things that might make people uncomfortable is that I want to go to the Mandalay Bay and kind of get an idea of like where the shooter was over there. And we're staying here. So. Oh. Oof. <laughs> oh, dang, son, you can get this. I'll get the bags. So I think this is where it was. It was over here where he broke out the windows. And over here is where the concert thing was. So I'm going to see if I can look through there. There's cameras everywhere. But... It's open area, you can tell this is where it was. So. I think. 
was unmarked. It has to be this one. Here's the problem. I think we need a room key or we can't get up. Well, it appears they've unmarked the actual floor and you can't get to it. But this is what it would have looked like because I'm assuming all the floors look exactly the same. And he would have been in the suite at the very end. So that means it would have been a room just like this. So this is the way it would have been. I actually recognize this area right here from um, the footage I saw. So there was this video of the cab driver that caught the bullet sounds and they played it of him or her driving through here. And the bullets were coming from up here, but they didn't know that at the time. So here's the Mandalay Bay where the shooter was, but look how far it is like that where the concert thing is over here. It's quite a distance and it's across the street like that. It looks like I can get in through this because it's open. This has to be where this was. Do they pave it? Yes. Is this? It has to be this. Because wasn't there this wall when you look at all the video footage? But there's all these cameras and why did they pave it? Was it always paved? Maybe it was always paved. Was it always paved? I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because I've never been here before. Okay, here. This is where the shooting on. You can see the Mandalay Bay where the shooting happened, right over there. And down there is where the concert was that was shot up. And then over here, there would have been the wizard, but they don't have the wizard anymore. But that far if that dude wouldn't have been
Reflecting on going there and how it felt, there wasn't like a weird eerie feeling. I'm very sensitive to energies and feeling stuff, so didn't feel anything weird. But it could just be because Vegas is weird and the whole place is kind of like death to me anyways. I don't know what they did with the actual hotel floor that he was on. It's unmarked, it's kind of strange, but I can't imagine them just not renting out an entire huge floor of a major hotel. <sighs> Is it crazy that I just like need to know these things? It was like the media was presenting it like a movie that you just had to have the answers to and you felt like you could be there and it could have been you. The thing that's really odd to me is there's so many cameras in Vegas like more than anywhere else and all those major hotels have in-house vice in them and for them to not be able to figure out that somebody broke out the windows of their hotel room and was firing a machine gun with all the cameras that are around seems a little odd to me and the fact that they couldn't really find out a motive or any answers i feel like they do know the answers but they don't want to tell us because it would probably hurt their money. I had watched a documentary about the shooting and they were saying how they didn't want the news to call it the Las Vegas shooting. They wanted to call it one October shooting. I think it's because they didn't want the association with Vegas and the casinos because they didn't want people to not want to travel there anymore. I mean, Vegas, is strange in itself. If you've ever been there, there's kind of a feeling of death after a while. Like don't really stay in Vegas for more than five days or you're gonna start feeling weird. You just feel like it's just trying to suck everything out of you. And you know, they make it hard for you to get water. They make it hard for you to get food. Everything is overpriced. There's all these hidden fees everywhere. You feel like you're just constantly being watched. There's people from all over the world. It's just weird. And yeah. I think that I thought I was going to feel like some sort of creepiness, but I didn't. I oddly feel better that I went there though. Been through a lot of crazy things in my life and known people that have been through some of the worst of the worst. And for this to be as interesting to me is a little odd. So, I don't know. I hope you found this interesting. But anyways, remember to always have patience with people because we are all going through something. And if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.